It's late at night and you're tucked into bed, waiting to fall asleep. Just as you're finally drifting off, you hear the sound of something moving next to your head. Jolting upright, you check the pillow and surrounding sheets for the source of the noise, but nothing's there. Laying back down, you try to relax. As your eyes close, you hear a rustling sound in your left ear. Frantically looking around, again, you find nothing. This is maddening. You start to wonder, is it all in your head? And when you feel something move inside your ear, you're horrified by how right you really are. You've probably been told at some point in time, some variation of the fun fact that you swallow an average of eight spiders over your lifetime. The logistics being that while you sleep, your mouth hangs open and an opportunistic arachnid just waltzes right in. The person who told you this most likely relished at the visible ick they gave you. However, what they could not give you was any kind of source to this fact. But it does sound plausible, doesn't it? Spiders enjoy dark tight spaces and you can imagine the warm and moist environment of your mouth being inviting. Yeah. But is this actually the case? And are there documented cases of spiders confusing any human orifices for safe places to rest their eight legs, or worse, lay their eggs? But before your appetite is inevitably ruined, let's talk about something that anyone with taste buds would actually like inside their mouth. Delicious chef-made meals delivered from this video sponsor, Cook Unity. Made up of 70 chefs who believe that great food shouldn't be complicated, especially for those of us with busy schedules. Each week, award-winning chefs craft hundreds of globally inspired meals from vegetarian to paleo and everything in between. Meals are delivered fresh, never frozen, and the menu rotates every week, so there's always something new to try. Cook Unity solves dinner by delivering freshly prepared meals to your door on a weekly basis, with a good variety of meals with over seven different dietary preferences, including vegan and gluten-free options. Everything is made fresh in local kitchens and the subscription is super flexible. You can choose to pause or skip weeks when it doesn't fit your schedule or cancel at any time. You can enjoy the delicious beef bibimbap made by Chef Esther Che with the savory marinated beef and tasty mix of veggies. Or try Chef Lamar Davidson's hearty andouille, chicken and shrimp gumbo made with love. There are so many options to choose from. The best thing about Cook Unity is that it makes life so simple. Meals are delivered fully cooked and all you have to do is heat it up. So no more messy cooking instructions that make you dirty all the bowls in the house. Cleanup is a breeze. Go to Cook cookunity.com slash brew50 or click the link in the description below and use our code brew50 to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity meals to try them out for yourself. October 2023, a 64-year-old woman in Taiwan had been hearing persistent strange noises. She described them as clicking, beating, and rustling sounds that were so intrusive they kept her awake at night. Soon, she started feeling like something was moving inside her left ear. As days passed, the relentless noises and disturbing sense of movement led to insomnia. And after four consecutive nights with increasing distress, she was exhausted. With a growing sense of urgency, the woman visited a specialist to find a solution for the mysterious noises that plagued her, hoping to end the disruption of her life. The otolaryngologist, a fancy word that here means a head and neck specialist, had a single look inside her ear and found the culprit almost immediately. A small spider had been tap dancing on her eardrum. The arachnid, the size of about two to three millimeters, had taken up residence in the woman's ear canal, close to the eardrum. It had even molted, growing up enough during the week to feel comfortable shedding its exoskeleton in its new home. While yes, that might just be the worst sentence you've ever heard, we have to ask, how common is a case like this really? Doctors and ENT specialists actually say it's quite common to find bugs and spiders in the ear canal. Research suggests that of all the foreign objects that could be found inside people's ears, at least 14% of them are live critters. And while it's more common to find dead creepy crawlies, it's not exactly out of the ordinary to find live ones looking for a cozy place to nest in. Just look at this case from Sichuan, China from April 2023, where a woman in her 40s was hearing a ringing sound in her right ear and experiencing some pain and hearing loss. A doctor was examining the woman's ear with a camera when suddenly he saw signs of something moving underneath. But it was then that he quickly realized what he was looking at wasn't her eardrum, it was a cobweb. Peeling away the false eardrum, he revealed the startled culprit, a spider. The creature had laid eggs that it was trying to protect, and the doctor had to remove the spider and the offspring before the problem became more serious. 
Thankfully, the woman only suffered minor damage to her ear canal. Getting a medical professional to get the spider out was probably a good decision compared to this viral video from March 2023 when some saline solution flushes a spider out of a man's ear, and this viral TikTok from May showing a woman who pours a bit of hydrogen peroxide in her mom's ear to reveal a spider hiding in it. By now, you have probably come to the realization that the chances of finding a spider living in your ear are quite a bit higher than you'd like. In fact, by this point, you might be feeling a level of disgust so great that you might be tempted to turn off this video. And for that, I am sorry. But wouldn't you rather discover how spiders can gain access to your ear holes using headphones? Yeah, that's what I thought. Katie Malua found this out the hard way in 2014 when she visited her doctor with a distressing medical issue. She had a persistent scratching sound in her ear that did not subside after a whole week. The 30-year-old woman was a singer-songwriter, and her heart sank at the possibility that it could be early signs of tinnitus, a condition where the patient perceives a relentless ringing noise in their ears. Faced with an abrupt career change, her worries took a twist when it was revealed that a live spider had set up camp in her ear. Katie suspected the spider hitched a ride on her headphones that she hadn't used for a while. She said, basically, I used these old in-ear monitors to block out sound on a flight. A little spider must have been in them and crawled inside my ear and stayed there for the week. And it's not hard to guess why the spider was inside the headphones in the first place. Spiders are drawn to cozy, secluded spaces naturally. However, unlike other critters during the cold winter months, it's not exactly for warmth and shelter. House spiders spend the entire year in and around your home hunting, feeding, and trying to stay concealed. In the fall, we tend to find more spiders indoors, not because they weren't there in the first place, but because they want to be more visible in order to find a mate. And once they're able to, they typically retreat into the nooks and crannies of our homes and go back into hiding for winter. The bad news is that there are things in our homes that naturally draw spiders to them. Beneath the baseboards, inside the cracks and crevices under the windows and doors, within the pile of clothes you keep meaning to put away, and even the inviting folds between the sheets of your bed are all ideal spaces where they can lurk in low light. The good news is that spiders that want to know what you're really like on the inside, in the worst way, are harmless. Unless, of course, they aren't. August 2019, Susie Torres had a horrifying ordeal when one visit to the doctor could have been her last. She had woken up hearing some swooshing in her left ear. The noise wasn't letting up, and she thought it might be water, saying, It was like when you went swimming and you have all that water in your ear. A medical assistant who checked her ear immediately rushed out of the room, saying she needed help from a couple more people, adding, I think you have an insect in there. While Susie was waiting, she wasn't too worried, as she didn't really know what was in her ear. Little did she know, what decided to burrow inside her ear to nest wasn't an insect. It was actually one of the most venomous arachnids on Earth, the brown recluse. All spiders are venomous, but their venom generally works to catch little insects, paralyzing them with one bite. Spiders are generally avoidant towards humans and will often choose to run rather than retaliate. When it comes to the brown recluse, though, their bite is the most potent of all spiders in the U.S. Reports of bites have been increasing even in areas where this particular species doesn't commonly live. The venom of the brown recluse spider contains toxins that kill cells around the bite and start breaking down blood cells in the area, while disrupting the body's immune system, triggering tissue and cell destruction, leading to the flesh necrotizing around the area and in extreme cases, can lead to death. So it's not all surprising that while the doctors were busy using their tools to remove the spider, they decided not to tell Susie what was actually in her ear. There was no reason to cause a panic or disturb the spider any more than it was necessary. After a few excruciatingly slow minutes, they were successful in removing the spider without aggravating it. Only then did they reveal what it actually was to a shocked Susie. Susie had no idea where the terrifying spider could have come from. So, unwilling to go through a similar issue again, she decided to take some precautions in her daily routine. I went and put some cotton balls in my ears last night. I'm shaking off my clothes and don't put my purse on the floor. I'm a little more cautious, she said. So spiders that may or may not be deadly are known to feel comfortable living in the human ear. But what about the mouth? Do spiders crawl in them? And what would happen if you swallowed one? 
July 2023, 52-year-old Chris Cowsley woke up in the middle of the night in a panic, unable to breathe. His throat was closing. He tried to stick one of his fingers down his throat to get some air, but as soon as he removed it, he couldn't breathe again. It was 3.30 in the morning, and he had no choice but to dial 999, the emergency number in the UK. Thankfully, the operator understood what Chris was trying to convey and sent an ambulance to his home. Paramedics took one look at the man and finding his throat swollen shut, hooked him up to machines to help him breathe while rushing him to the hospital. The first thing one of them said to Chris was that they thought he inhaled a spider and that it must have bitten Chris's uvula, the little tongue, on its way down his throat. Chris couldn't believe his bad luck. He was used to having spiders in his home, living in the countryside, however, never had problems with them before. He was given antibiotics and monitored in the hospital by an ENT specialist who used an endoscope, pushing it up Chris's nose to check the back of his throat. While the hospital statement says it's not certain what exactly caused Chris's breathing problems, they suggested the paramedic's spider bite theory may have merit. Experts were not so quick to jump on board. Dr. Matt Wilkinson from Cambridge University's Department of Zoology was skeptical about this theory. He said, It's really curious that this was the gut instinct reaction of those treating him. He argued, Very few spiders in Britain can bite you and the only possible one is the false widow. It's pretty big and you'd wake up if that was in your throat. Dr. Jeff Oxford of the British Arachnological Society agreed, adding, If someone's sleeping, they're breathing hot air in and out. Why on earth would a spider go in? They just don't do that. Even with the skeptics, Chris wasn't taking his chances. While he wasn't afraid of spiders, once he was back home, he couldn't sleep again until he vacuumed the entire house. He also took a step further and plugged in a spider repellent to prevent spiders from clamoring in bed with him again. And as for documented accounts of spiders crawling in mouths, Chris's story is the best we've got. But then, where did the fact that we swallow eight spiders in our lifetime come from? Well, that's a story in itself. An article on The Guardian published in 1999 titled 50 Top Pieces of Trivia states that the average human eats eight spiders in their lifetime after they crawl into their mouths in their sleep which was also written inside a Snapple cap retired in 2014. However, neither the article nor the Snapple cap pointed to any sources about where this statistic came from. So where does this urban legend actually originate? In April 2001, the Snopes popularized an origin story for the myth, tracing it to a 1993 article in PC Professional, attributed to Lisa Burgett Holst. They claim that the journalist discussed the phenomenon of fact lists circulating and spreading through emails, and how gullible people naively accepted them without giving any further thought. They went on with further description of how Holst illustrated her point by concocting her own setup absurd facts, including the claim about how the eight spider statistic came from a book printed in 1954 about insect folklore. They added, in a delicious irony, Holst's propagation of this false fact has spurred it into becoming one of the most widely circulated bits of misinformation to be found on the internet. This origin story later turned out to be a complete hoax for April Fools, and the journalist's name, Lisa Burgett Holst, was actually an anagram of This is a Big Troll. The website is still searching for the first appearance of where the rumor came from, reminding viewers that checking your sources is an essential part of the fact-checking process. And while we can't actually figure out where the urban myth originated, it hasn't stopped people from taking it as a fact, leading to a meme joking about this statistical error, blaming Spider's George, who lives in a cave and eats over 10,000 spiders per day, as an outlier that shouldn't have been included in the data. So, even though at some point in your life you could wake up with an eight-legged squatter living in your hearing hole, at least there's no reason to believe that they'll try the same trick in your mouth. And as far as we're concerned, that's a win, folks. But we still have one last question. What do you do if you think there might be a spider in your ear? Experts say that keeping calm is the best option. The risk of injury with trying to remove it yourself is too great, even with solutions you can find in the pharmacy specifically made to clean the inside of your ear. The doctor who successfully removed the spider and exoskeleton from our first case in Taiwan reminds us that liquids shouldn't be introduced to the ear in case there is a perforation in the eardrum, and that's not something we can easily see by ourselves. An ENT specialist can determine if the spider or insect trapped in your ear is too large and risky to remove live, since the excessive movements can cause damage to the delicate structures inside the ear. In these cases, they will use lidocaine or ethanol to kill the animal before removing it. And in other cases, if the critter is small enough, a quick suction tool with the aid of an otoscope is how they would get rid of the creepy crawlies. At the end of the day, we shouldn't let the eerie thought that spiders might cozy up inside our head bug us too much. The chance of it happening is as rare as a spider getting tangled in its own web. But if you're still scared, maybe earplugs are a sound investment.